All right, guys. All right, all right, all right. Let me, let me explain real quick. I, I, you're probably in shock right now. I know you saw me get bodied in the last game review. You're probably like, yo, Brady, how'd you survive a buckshot to the dome? Like, let me just say I got a lot of self revives handy. And besides all that, I want to talk to you guys today a little bit about Elmo. I'm assuming y'all know about Elmo, right? You know, the fucking dude from uh, Sesame Street. Well, he's not really a dude. He's like technically a child. He, I think he's like three and a half years old. Well, that was back in 1980. So now he'd probably be about 46, I believe. Uh, so he's getting up there. He's getting a little old, but um, yeah. Anyways, I'm getting off track, you guys. Um, so y'all know Elmo was a popular motherfucker back in the day. They made video games about him. I mean, I don't need to explain anymore. Like this is a fucking game review show. Anyways, they made fucking games about him, like fucking Big Bird's Hide and Seek. Elmo loves ABCs, fucking Big Bird's egg catch, I don't know what's up with Big Bird, but, um, you know, they have fucking Elmo's number adventure. Fuck, I fucked that up. But, yeah, anyways, and then they also have a life-changing game for, not just for me, but for many people across the world. This game has changed lives, everyone, and that game has got to be Elmo's number journey, you guys. Now, I do have the Nintendo 64 version. I believe there's a PlayStation 1 version. I'm not sure exactly, but this game changed my life for the better, you guys. And I cannot explain how life-changing this game has been to me and to many people across the world. And we'll get to that in a minute. This, this fucking game here, like, I learned everything I need to know about numbers through this fucking game. And in my opinion, the, the the way they teach you in this is so well and so good that I feel like instead of earning like a degree, a high school diploma, um, I feel like this would be the, the kind of the equivalent to that, in my opinion. All right, let's create a little scenario real quick, you guys. Let's say you're going to apply for a job, right? And, and the dude that's taking the interview is like, yo, let me see that resume. Slide over the resume across the table. Um, your fingertips might touch a little bit, but yeah, he reads the resume and he's like, yo, where's where's that high school diploma? I don't even see that you completed high school. And I was, I was like, nah, I'm look down a little bit. Yeah, you see me, 100% completion. Elmo's number during, he's like, you're hired. You're fucking hired. And, and that's personally, I think that should be the case. I feel like that should be fucking real. I feel like it should be happening. Also, you guys, not only do I have Elmo's Number Journey, which is kind of the main game, in my opinion, it talks about numbers and, you know, the, the necessities of living in the United States of America today. Uh, we also have Elmo's Letter Adventure on PlayStation 1. Um, so Elmo's Letter Adventure, I would say, is like kind of like the prerequisite to Elmo's Number Journey because Letter Adventure is kind of like, yo, I already know how to talk. I've been learning all my life. I don't really need to know about letters, but numbers I need to know about. So that's kind of why I feel like this one's superior to Letter Journey. Letter Adventure, fuck. But anyways, Elmo's Letter Adventure, it dropped November 27th, I believe, of 1999, uh, way back in the day. Um, and literally, the customer reviews were actually pretty good. I think they were about 71% positive across the boards. So we're gonna actually read some reviews of this fucking game right here. All right, so we got a review here from Apaloito MC. Five stars, that's the top fucking rating. He said, saved my life, was in a dark place before I found this game, but this gave me the inspiration to keep going. Some people might think this is review is a joke, but it genuinely isn't. Play this game, it's a must. Now, that is a very, very motivational, a review in my eyes and I'm gonna use that to accomplish some more goals in my life because that was really motivating for me. Next one is by Brian Morales. Fan this is a fucking five star too. Fantastic could not count past six a month ago. Now I can perfectly recite up to twelve. That's pretty good. That's almost four times as much. Um Brian you might need to you might need to look at some Elmo's Letter Adventure. I, I'm pretty sure that's about two times as much, not four. 
you might need to go go back and do some more lessons in Elmo's Light Adventure, Brian. Um, but good progress so far. I'm proud of you. We have Jerome with this fucking one. Oh, he, there's no stars on this one. We don't even know what he rated it, but he's like, from downtown. Alright, so as you can see, like, I was not fucking around. Like, this game changes fucking lives. <sighs> you know, people are in dark places, and I understand that everyone in their life will always have dark times. Uh, me included, and, um, like, genuinely, you guys, this game has been one of the saviors, and shit. Alright, so we're gonna finally talk about this fucking game. So what is this game about? Why is it so critically acclaimed across the fucking world? Why does IGN give it a fucking 10 out of 10 in 2023? They re-reviewed this fucking game here. Now, almost number venture. Um, I would say it's, obviously it's a learning game. It's really, really a lot of knowledge within this fucking cartridge here. So. You walk around, I don't, it kind of depends, you can walk, you fucking fly, you fucking, fucking, you know, El Elmo shit. You do just, you just do Elmo shit around the Elmo town. And then, <laughs> you get to learn about Elmo and his friends. Um, and you can learn that friendship is what really will get you through everything, you guys. And friendship is very important. <laughs> That's, that's literally the game. You fucking walk around and look at numbers and press one button. There's like two buttons in the game. Um, that's literally it, you guys. I'm, I don't know what to say. I guess I do want to say that. There is like a cult following to this game. Like, people be worshipping this fucking game. And I do want to say that. I am a part of that. So, I mean, I don't know. Na 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 na